Who are we? What do we want to do? We are an innovative partner mobilized to share hope wherever there is hardship. Building communities that are just and know the love of Jesus. I'm so glad that you've chosen to join with us again today. Do you remember from our last time we hung out what we talked about? It had something to do with the new vision statement for the Salvation Army. It was this circle right here and this disc we talked about we are and we had a great time with some delicious Smarties. But today we're going to talk about the next part of our vision statement, which says we are an innovative. So it's this fancy light bulb. So I'm gonna put it right, let's go like right here. And I'll keep that one up for us to remember the next time that we meet. So let's have a look now at what it means for us to be innovative for Jesus. So how many of you have seen the show, The Floor is Lava? I've definitely seen that show, but I also know as a kid, I used to play that game all the time. It was one of the best games, and it was so easy to play. Well, this morning, we have a problem. Our floor is lava, and we need to get to the other side of the room that you're in right now. So hopefully you're able to play along at home, but if not, maybe take this time just to reflect on a time that you've played this game. So if you're playing at home though, I want you to look around, see maybe if there's items you can stand on, walk across, or run on so that you can make your way across your room. Now always, always remember that you need to be safe that you need to have mom and dad's permission because I don't want to get you in trouble and I don't want to see you hurt. So make sure that you're playing in a safe way with me, okay? So I'll give you a minute to look around the room, see the best route that you can get there. You, maybe your siblings, maybe your friends over and make sure that you can get there in one piece, please and thank you. So I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to get over there. And I'm gonna count 30 seconds. I'll have a timer up on the screen. Are you ready? Okay, our 30 seconds start now. Full 30 seconds, did I? <laughs> I did you. But how did it go? Did you get your way across? Were you safe? Did you do it in the best? If you have a great plan that you followed through, or if you just want to say if you were successful or not, I would love to see in the comments how it went. Also, feel free to comment if you were creative or innovative in any way as you were doing this activity today. So, there's a great story found in Mark chapter 2 verses 1 to 12 that is about four innovative friends. Jesus had been traveling, teaching, performing miracles, and healing those who were ill. There were four friends who wanted to take their paralyzed friend to go see Jesus. So, they each took a corner of his mat and carried him to a house where Jesus was staying. But when they got to the house, there were so many people that they couldn't get into the door. So they thought over the problem and decided to take their friend up onto the roof above the crowd. But when they got up onto the roof, they still couldn't see Jesus. 
So they thought over the problem and decided that they would make a hole in the roof. But when they made the hole in the roof, Jesus still couldn't see their friend. So they talked over the problem and decided to lower their friend down through the hole in the roof. Now their friend was right in front of Jesus. Jesus looked at the man. He looked up at the four friends and saw the faith that they had. They said to the paralyzed man, God said this, Son, your sins are forgiven. Everyone was amazed. Jesus told the man to get up, take your mat, and go home. So the man got up, picked up his mat, and walked away with his four friends, rejoicing and praising Jesus. What great friends. They wanted to help their friend come to see Jesus, but they recognized that there were some problems in doing that. But they didn't give up. They worked together to be innovative, to find a creative solution, and were able to bring their friend to Jesus. Today you had the chance to work together to cross the floor of lava, but just like the four friends, God wants you to think of ways to bring your friends to Jesus. He wants you to work with others to find a way to help your friends come to know Jesus, his love for them, and invite them to have a relationship with God. Let's all put our thinking caps on today and think of some friends who don't know about God's love. Then, let's start thinking of creative ways that we can help them know what we all know, that God loves and cares for each of us. So the Salvation Army was founded by William Booth way back in 1865. The Booths were always creative and innovative in their ways of reaching out to other people. Can anyone comment down below and maybe think of what innovative even means? That's such a fancy word that I keep using. But let me tell you what it means. So innovative means to try new ways of doing things, to be creative or original. William Booth was always trying new ways of sharing the love of God with people around him. We in the Army of 2021, and remember this includes all of us, we believe that we too must be creative and innovative in finding ways to meet the needs of our community and to share the love of God. So I've added this second disc here to remind us as we go on to the next few days to be innovative in our interactions. Let's pray together. God, thank you for making us creative in all our ways. Thank you for giving us creative minds and the ability to think and solve problems. Help us to use the good ideas you give us to help meet the needs of others and bring them closer to you. In your name I pray, amen. Bye guys!